The morning after his disaster proclamation, Governor Pritzker got a look at the damage at the historic Apollo Theater. He thanked police, firefighters, and paramedics who weren't the only heroes Friday night. So too were the concert goers helping each other and people who live in the surrounding community showing up to remove the rubble, to help people out, to, to get them out from underneath the, the damaged building. The National Weather Service confirmed an EF1 tornado hit Belvedere. It went on a 28-mile rampage with wind speeds reaching up to 100 miles per hour. For some residents, it brought back memories of the 1967 twister that claimed 24 lives. We just went to a lot of funerals for several weeks, so yeah, and 13 children, kids we went to school with. Yeah, I had a rough night, uh, kind of remembering, yeah. Yeah, you kind of can't help it, so. 260 people were in the Apollo for a heavy metal concert when the roof collapsed. The ceiling fell three stories onto concert goers. The marquee crashed to the ground. 50-year-old Frederick Livingston, who was at the concert with his son, was killed. Our community is heartbroken. Our thoughts and prayers continue for Fred Livingston, his families, his loved ones and all those injured at this tragedy. As crews continue clearing debris, structural engineers are trying to determine whether the Century Old Theater can be saved. The Apollo is, is the local place to have gatherings, uh, wedding, wedding uh, parties, you know, and things like that, and it, it would be missed. Local movie theater tickets <laughs> when we were kids. Folks could drop us off, my brother and me, go see a movie, and we knew everybody, everybody knew everybody, and yeah, so it would be nice, but got to be safe. The governor announced he will seek federal funds to help the town recover. First responders and residents this morning also observed a moment of silence for the victims. In Belvedere, Judy Wang, WGN News.